Woohoo, yeah, America, 50 stars and stripes. Hello, welcome to Smosh, I'm Ian, and I think that the US's mascots suck. That's right, they don't represent us anymore. We got the bald eagle, that guy is basically extinct. We got Uncle Sam, he's a tacky dresser and old. Ugh. And also, we got the Statue of Liberty, who's basically French. So, I brought my friends together today, and we're gonna show you who the national mascot should be. Let's do this. Let's do this! Keith, Olivia, Noah. I think really what, what our country needs is a, is a new shining beacon. We need a new mascot. Mm -hmm. And all of you brought a mascot here today. Yeah. Yep. I hope that we can solve all of America's problems, and I think we will mm -hmm. with this new mascot. Oh, absolutely. So are you all ready? Yeah. yeah. Starwipe. All right, everyone. So before I introduce my brand new national mascot, I just want to you know, introduce maybe why I feel we need this mascot. What we need is something that truly connects all of us deep down inside. What is something we all have? Is it joy? No, you can't find that. That's not, you, you, can't, you can't pick it up. Mm -hmm. Is it your mother? Well, we all got a mom, but it's not the same mom. It's gonna be hard to recognize this as like a national mascot. Mm. So, introducing Michael Fitzpatrick, the microplastic, oh. right? Oh my God. <laughs> we all microplastics in us. Wow. Yeah, that's our national mascot right here. Wow. Right here. Yeah, I really think it's something that uh, everyone could love. It might vary in the age of the plastic, <laughs> but it's in you. And look, why are you gonna argue about if you like Coke or Pepsi when instead you can just agree both of you have a bottle in your bloodstream? <laughs> right? It's pretty effective. So I really truly believe that Michael Fitzpatrick the microplastic is something we can all get behind. <laughs> it's a lot to say. Whether you're a vegan in Los Angeles doing yoga on the beach or you're a trucker in Minnesota stopping at the AMPM, both of you have hundreds of thousands, <laughs> if not millions of tiny little Michael Fitz Fitzpatricks in your heart, beating <laughs> hard. Oh man. Remember that. Each of us have the same thing in our heart. Michael. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna uh, actually introduce Michael and let you guys speak to him real quick if you wanna ask any questions, so. Okay. Hi there, everyone. I'm in the sky, in the sand, in the fish, in the birds. <laughs> I'm in the animals, in your pet. I'm in your mom, and I'm in your heart. Mm. You're in my mom? I'm in your mom. <laughs> Oh okay, God. Michael. Oh, no. All right, Michael. So, how can I believe that you're actually round and you're not actually flat? <laughs> That's exactly my point. Thank you, Lib Lib. There Thank is a you. group of us that don't, who, that don't believe it's round. Well, whether or not you know your shapes, Olivia, <laughs> I'm in you. And it may be the reason you don't know your shapes. I, okay. I'm wondering, why, why is this specifically an American mascot if microplastics are a global problem, are they not? Well, what a great question, Ian. As an American, we have multiple of the world's most largest polluting companies ever. <laughs> if you look at interesting industries like fishing, we as Americans like certain things like glitter on the bottom of our boats to look pretty. In America, we like pretty things more than life. <laughs> Yo, I'll be honest. I'm learning a lot right yeah. now. Yeah, like, honestly, I'm down for you, Michael. I see. Yeah, yeah okay, I okay. guess the only thing is that, like, I really don't like your voice. <laughs> yeah. Hey, like we can change it to something like this. Oh, huh? that's no, annoying. What is this? Like I don't know. Too. Hey, it's me, Michael Fitzpatrick, the microplastic. Yeah, that actually I'm in your you. mom. <laughs> <laughs> is that better? That, it's I like that. It's closer. It's, it's better closer? than the first one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you give it like a little bit more like Midwest? Midwest. Maybe yeah. like a little bit more Christopher Walken. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> what? No! Come no! On, I'm on. an American! And as an American, I have the right to say no. He owns a gun, too. That's also, that's also what he does. He also has a gun. Okay, just, just as an exercise, let's get a little warmed up. What's one positive thing you could say about the country in which we live? Man, it be around. Yeah. <laughs> it's a continent. It be um, big. I love it here. But... <laughs> <laughs> he like looked around for approval. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Los Angeles. <laughs> yes, Los Angeles is a place in the country that we live. Very good, Olivia. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, go again. Whole Foods. 
Whole Foods. <laughs> um, yes. I think that might exist in other places as well. Okay. Yes, Olivia. The big M and M store in Times Square. Okay. Yes. <laughs> You can get your oh face God. on an M&M, and &M, and only in America can you do that. Mm. The Beatles. <laughs> oh! oh, love them. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? All right, so you're probably wondering <laughs> why I struck a pose, um, and I'm gonna get straight to it. I think I should be the mascot of the United States of America. Wow. I agree. You just me, straight up me. Come on, give me some love, give me yeah. some love. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I think it should be me. First off, because I'm a little cute, but I'm also a little ugly, so I'm not intimidating. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Anyway, but to get straight to the point, I wrote a poem <gasps> to show you why I should be the um, mascot. <laughs> Is this one? Yeah. This one. Can I get some snaps? I am the American dream. The real American dream. I don't have the government or police on my team. I am the American dream. The real American dream. Reward points, I'm always trying to redeem. Oh, I love re reward points. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 coupons. I am the American dream. The real American dream. Away from my problems, I keep running. Oh, I'm running. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah, running. Mm -hmm. I am the American dream. The real American dream. I'm paying my cancer treatment bills off of YouTube money. Yeah. Ka ching, ka ching. Ding a ling a ling. Bling, bling, bling. I am the American dream. Ooh. No, oh, stop, y'all. Damn. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I'm surprised that you think poetry is an is a very American way to communicate. Slam poetry is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what do you think your what do you think your slogan would be? Get up, bitches! It's time to make change. That ain't gonna happen, though. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Wow. It's honest. It's honest. Yeah. So okay. you would replace. I just want to make it about me, what, guys. I'm sorry. What are the props you're gonna be holding? Like, what Statue of Liberty has, has the, the book. torch. Yeah, the torch. I hold yeah, an yeah, iPhone yeah, yeah. Okay. with the flashlight on. You know, I'll probably have a gun hanging out of my pocket just <laughs> okay. because America's all about guns. Yeah. Yeah, guys not, stay I'm not, but yeah. like, I mean, teach his own. What else? Oh, what and else? a very long CVS receipt. Oh, 100 yeah. percent hanging out of my other pocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, Keith, wow. it, it, being the mascot for the U.S is a full-time job, it would require a lot of travel. Like, mm -hmm. Is this something you, you are prepared to do? I mean, no, but are we prepared for anything, guys? Wow. Just put me in the line of fire and I'm going to be up and at them. Well, sometimes you miss your flights. And, and that'll be fine. They'll have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> How would you describe Americans to a non-American? Yes. Everything's going okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> We're doing just fine. I don't know this because I don't live around the world, but Americans have an identity of like, uh, we're such a vast country. When you go to like Europe, you can travel to different places, but you still meet a lot of different types of Depending people. on the states, obviously in Los Angeles, we're incredibly diverse, which is awesome. When I travel to like Mykonos, which is obviously an island where you vacation, so take that with a grain of salt. The people that live like in Greece are Greek and people travel to Greece. It's very easy to travel. So it's right next door. You can drive an hour. So like you go back home, like you're Albanian in Greece. No, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> it's not going to edit together. What I'm actually trying to say, America is very diverse. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay, so when I was thinking about a mascot for America, I thought we need something that has bark but no bite. Okay, so the newest American mascot is going to be my dog. Grizzy. What? what? You brought your actual dog? Oh my god. Oh, that's not Grizzy. <laughs> that is not Grizzy. Yeah, I was gonna say Grizzy gained weight. <laughs> hey. Whomever this is is the cutest. Oh my little god. Thing. Oh he's got a wig. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> okay. So this is my dog, Grizzy. Uh-huh. She sure. is three years old and she is half Chihuahua 
and half Australian cattle dog. She's actually two years old. She's a little puppy. <laughs> this is your two-year-old dog? This is my two-year-old dog. Noah, this is not her dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking in the eyes and it's great why reflected you keep, back. Why you keep saying like, this is your dog? <laughs> this is my two-year-old dog, Grizzy. Her full name is Griselda Blanco, who is a drug dealer, which is what America is. She is 20 pounds, which is also the weight of the Declaration of Independence. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, did you Google that? She also has four legs, which is also four <laughs> branches, like in our government. <laughs> she, in, she instigates fights, <laughs> and she causes a lot of trouble. She is small, but she is mighty. Oh my God. Watch Ol this. Olivia, where did you get this dog? Because this is not- This I is my Bridget. dog. Let's go. <laughs> she, will, she, will, she will protect our country against all other countries. Watch this. Italy. <laughs> Russia. Oh, that's an American dog. Oh. <laughs> I was going for Italy. Okay, France. Oh my god. Oh my, it reminds America me. America doesn't seem dog. very interesting. She has great ears, just like FBI psyops. <laughs> um, she does not vote. <laughs> Wait. And she does not know our local representatives. <laughs> Olivia, I'm gonna ask you one more time, where'd you get this dog? Just wait, questions after. <laughs> also, she hates fireworks, which is not very American, mm. but Americans like to contradict themselves, so that is very American. Facts, that's good, that's good. Um, please consider my mascot, who is my dog, Grizzly. Grizzy. It's not your dog. It's a little bit of a statement, I think. I honestly, you did a really American thing. I wanna ask you questions and I wanna learn more, but I'm too distracted. I'm gonna focus on the distraction. See, that's what we do. The mascot should be distracting. Grizzy, that's your name, right? <laughs> Grizzy. She may not answer to Grizzy. Wait. <laughs> what, what would you do about the Americans who have dog allergies? Mm. Get over it, bitch. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wait. You would say that Okay, under fine. Oh, this is not my dog. I found this dog in LA casting. What do you want from me? <laughs> that makes more sense. I gave this dog an opportunity. <laughs> and 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 they, they gave me a really great slate. So I casted. <laughs> the dog. dog sent in a self-tape? The dog self-taped themselves. Wow. And honestly, within three seconds, I just knew. <laughs> well, my dog here needs a break. Okay. Oh, you're free. You're free, not you Grizzy. Go. Oh, oh my God. Go, gosh. run. Can run. I vote for you? Yes. I'm sorry, Michael Fitzpatrick yes. oh, can go. You. Oh no. He just oh. immediately ate something he shouldn't have. Oh. I, think, I think one experience that I had that made me be like, whoa, I'm in America, was when I was driving through Utah and it's like beautiful scenery and you're like, wow, it's like amazing. And then, and then passing by a billboard uh, promoting polygamy. Oh, wow. Sorry. Sorry, is that not allowed in other places? I think you're allowed to promote it. I don't know if you're allowed to do it. Polygamy? <laughs> it's, it's been, it's been uh, demoted to a misdemeanor in Utah. Really? Thank you for coming today. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. In thinking of who could be America's mascot, I took into consideration how diverse America is. So I wanted to create a mascot that could represent the blue collar worker all around the United States, from Bakersfield to Baltimore, from Tempe, Arizona to Tampa Bay, Florida, from Wichita to Salem where they burned witches. <laughs> mm -hmm. All people will see themselves in my mascot. <laughs> and also, he's fun for kids. Introducing Billy the Bootstrap Beaver. He's overworked, underpaid, unshaven. He's got a venti Starbucks. He's just hanging on by a thread. Mm -hmm. And this is something that I feel like all American workers can relate to. He works two day jobs, one as an insurance broker and the other as a coal miner. <laughs> At the same time! Mm -hmm. Yeah. And on his free time, he's in a lower tier of an MLM. Oh. On Fridays, he wears funny ties. <laughs> Every year, he takes uh, one vacation to oh Cancun, my God. where he just gets wasted and forgets all of it. This is crazy. 
I like him. He's drinking on the beach? What beach? It's the burping bubbles for me. Oh, well, oh, he's wasted, wasted. He big wasted. <laughs> he drives a Ford F-150, oh. but has only used the bed of the truck once when he moved. Um, he cried watching Top Gun Maverick. Of course. Uh, his child uses they, them pronouns, and he's trying his best, but he always beats himself up when he gets it wrong. Wait, what species is the child? Is this, it's got different ears? It's, it's got a, That is not a beaver. That's, that looks like Wiley Coyote. Straight up, it's giving Fox. Um, can you please not comment on the child's identity? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I get, okay, I guess species is no, fine. Stop. You're right, you're right. You're right. I'm, I apologize, stop. you're right. I'm Sorry. I, I think he like shape shifted because now his like crotch is like really small. Yeah. Have he's been looking at Billy's crotch? <laughs> of course. Look, he represents all of America. Oh my god. Big crotch and small crotch. <laughs> I, I small know. over here. <laughs> you're telling me <laughs> You're telling me beaver pants still come with a belt, but they don't come with a front zipper and there's a hole for the tail, I imagine. Um okay. <laughs> I feel like you're focusing on the wrong things here. I'm just saying, I know that it's not Friday because that tie is not interesting. Is he looking into a crystal ball or yes. the crystal ball? Well, don't some... worry about the furniture. I don't know. He's, a, he's, he's into spirituality. I don't know. Okay, look, it's a national mascot. I feel like right. every detail right. should be Every know. detail matters. Know for sure. I mean, where's the Bible on that bookshelf? There's no, There's Bible. no Bible. It's in there. It's next to the Quran. It's... Well, also, you see, also like... And the Torah. Okay. Okay, all right. And, oh, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, oh no, oh. Oh no, it's falling apart like America. Oh. <laughs> and the most American thing of all, he's divorced. Oh. Yeah, Billy represents all of us. Our values or lack thereof. It's just, it's us. Us. The U.S. Oh, that's good. I ain't never looked at it like that. That's so awesome. I ain't never, you see the U.S.? Us. Wow. I call it USA. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, I'll leave you with Billy's motto, because every mascot should have a motto. And that is, I don't give a damn about <laughs> anyone else. Wow. Facts. See, this is my problem. He doesn't look the same in any, any of the of pictures. Any of the photos. <laughs> at all. That is not, like, right. who is this? Yeah. Well, Are we the, getting catfish? You see no. what I'm saying? Like, Even, he works in insurance. He has a lot of important information. This could be different beavers for all I Right. Know. This is like, <laughs> even his, you know? like, look at his teeth. The teeth is a completely different shape. Well, <laughs> I, I, can, I can actually explain why they all look so different. So, in order to create these illustrations, we went to every elementary school in the United States and asked them <laughs> to illustrate Billy the Bootstrap Beaver. They wow. come from different places in the US. Oh. You use child labor? You're like going yes. way back in US history. Thank you, that's what I'm going for. And we're gonna hopefully go back to that. <laughs> oh, no. Can I just tell you, okay, so the mascot is not gonna work for us. However, we do see this as a live action movie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like that. Which is the most right. American thing mm -hmm. of all, is mm -hmm. turning anything into a profitable corporation. Mm -hmm. And here at Tubi, mm -hmm. uh, we will, we'll, we're, we'll buy it right now. Well, we saw all of our wonderful mascots, and they're all great. I don't know who's gonna win, but before we select the winner, I have a little challenge for y'all. So we all have a vision for who our mascot is, but the question is, can we turn that vision into art? Follow me. Oh, God. Can oh, somebody God. help me up? Oh. No. Okay. Okay, and turn around. So. Your task today is to create a painting that represents the American experience in the most American way possible. You are each going to have a <laughs> blank canvas there and you will have to make what you see as America with the most American foods using only the most American tools. A baseball bat. After we have all made our masterpieces, our painting will be reviewed by a celebrity guest. Okay, Noah, show us your great American masterpiece. All right, let's do it. So let's do this. It's That's happening. a big honking burrito. Yeah, yeah, this is a good California burrito right here. It looks like Chipotle. Yeah, go All right, for it. you guys ready for a masterpiece? Yeah, let's do it. All right, here That's we go. It. Starting with the burrito. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. 
Okay, I like that. Oh, that could boy. be maybe where the sun goes, okay? Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay. Okay. Now that we got the sky, grass is always greener. Okay. Okay. How it drips. That's I like how we got some of the beef and onion. Ew. All right, what's next? Chili. Chili and mac? mac and cheese. Oh. We're going to do a nice. chili mac. Wow. Because what's American if not just blending a bunch Ew. of shit together? Oh, God. That's disgusting. All right. Here we go. I like that. Okay. I like that. Ooh, ooh. Finishing oh, touch. Not, not, oh, okay. Finishing All right. Wow. Oh. Good job. Thank That's you. That's awesome. Thank you. That was awesome. Come on. All right. So here I go. I'm going to start out with some wizard. Okay. Wow. Hit wow. him with the guac. Damn. <laughs> yep. Fall in the hips. Oh, wow. Just oh, like oh, that. Nice see that? That was nice. You're Off really good at Boom. Start. Right there. Splatter. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> get the bun. Get a little bun on the bottom. Ew. <laughs> I'm actually liking the splatter. Oh, no. With some chili. The chili, the chili is a disaster. Chili looks like turd. Oh. oh. Whoa. Did, it, did it get in my ear? It did. I got a little well, I'm good, baby. Come on. Let's go. I'm going to just finish it off with this one because it's a lot going on right here. All right? Count me in. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh. I think you missed. No, he got it. He got it. I got it. Wow. wow. I think it's missing something. One more, guys. Okay, one more. One more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. Wow. Yeah, that's a, yeah. I love that's that. That's a work of art right there. All right, Olivia, show us what you got. Okay, so I have a sweet tooth. So I have a cup of peanut butter and jelly. Are you ready? We're ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I have a really bad back. Oh, she and that got... was heavy. That was very dense. Let's use this. Oh! Whoa. That's how you do it. That's, That's the best way. Nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Wow. It, I see something. There's a figure. I like this green jello. Wow. Okay, Actually, I got a little on there. I got a little bit. Cheese. Oh, 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 damn. This, this is, is looking good. Really good. Okay. I would not hang it in my house, but it's really good. Right. This is my last one. It's a green smoothie. Oh, oh. that was perfect. That was Dude, perfect. good job. She did that. I did do that. Good job, Lib Lib. Okay. You should sign it. This cherry pie blood oh. on our hands. <laughs> and all this. Yellow stuff is the goodness that we find in between all the capitalism. <laughs> yeah. That's deep. That's deep. Go in. All right, Ian, you're up. All right. Your turn. Oh, the artist gets ready. Uh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, Ian. That's really ambitious. Okay. Wow. You have to name this dish. Oh, dude, this looks like Scooby Doo food now. Oh my god. Wait for it. Oh, oh, this is a pie sandwich. Oh, dude, be careful. Krispy Kreme might do this. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you America. Quite the performance. Yeah, it's, it's like performance art. It's not really about what winds up on the canvas, but what is wasted. Wow. wow. Damn, that is so American. And Diabetes. That is, <laughs> and that is America. Watch out, Betsy. All right, and now time for our celebrity guest. And our guest is somebody with a lot of opinions about America. That's right. It's our very own Augustus. Wow. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's me, your boy Augustus. I review things on Yelp. I sure do love food. The doctors are shocked I'm still around. 
and I also like to judge the shit out of people. I'm judging on who's the most, on what's the most American. Mm -hmm. Well, the good news is you've all committed war crimes. So by violating the Geneva Convention, you're all in the running. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Now, what I'm seeing is a lot of little dots. And to the untrained eye, you might think pointillism, uh-oh. But uh, this right here makes me think of like a solar system and stars which makes you think of Starry Night, which is expressionism, which came out of Germany, you dingbat. Uh-oh. However, abstract expressionism came out of New York later as a response to it. So what we have, we all know this, right? So I think this is pretty nice, but the question is, is it American? Yes, and like America, it uses low quality oh beats. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. Oh, I see. It's almost like an American Gothic situation. We got those. We got the cheese farmer. We got the berry <laughs> farmer. And we know this is regionalism, which came out of the Midwest. Also, a lot of our best cheeses came out of the Midwest. This is the really strongly in the running. But is it American? Would it deny me health care? Yes, very American. Ah. <laughs> so we got some color field painting going on right here, which also came out of New York during the same time as abstract expressionism, as we all know. Oh. But I do see there's some symbolism going on here. This looks a little bit like Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. And I can see some John F. Kennedy. Is this neo-Dadaism? Yes. Okay, that's very American. <laughs> amazing, amazing. But can I get maternity leave? Yes? Uh-oh. It's not very American. Oh, no. Okay, let's see one more thing here. <laughs> okay, so what I'm seeing over here is, what are these, like a peaches? Apples. Those are apples. Uh, oh, the apples are no, actually very American. <laughs> Why you look at me like that? You look more like Paul Rudd every day, and it's scary. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, right? yeah. it's yeah. like yeah, man. like he's the painting. That's why Paul Rudd isn't aging. I'm full of references today, uh. baby. <laughs> All right, so we got some relish, and let me say I don't quite relish having to say this, but you barely did anything. <laughs> if anything, I'd say it's expressionism, but I certainly don't want to take in. Edward Munch out of this painting. <laughs> so let me think about this. Uh, it's, it's, sorry, it's Edward, it's Edward Munch. I will throw you over this set wall. <laughs> All right, so let me see here. You know, as much as it pains me to say it because of this fist, I'm starting <laughs> to think that this is the most American. I think this one reminds wow. me of drones. Yes! Congratulations! <laughs> Congratulations! Congratulations! Thank you so much. And you're absolutely right. They are drones. So you won this, but uh, we still have to pick who is the overall winner. And the person that's going to do that is uh, Vita! Yeah! Come on, Vita! Come on, Vita! Don't slip, Vita! Wow. Um, Noah. <gasps> oh! What? Oh. Vita! Wow, thank wow. you so much! I've never won anything art. Well, that's it for this episode. If you haven't seen our previous episode, How to Ask Somebody Out, go watch that right now. Love you, bye! Bye! Merch in the store, baby. Merch in the store. Merch in the store. There's wow. merch in the store. Wow. Oh, baby, it's the spring break sale. You can find our latest shirts, hoodies, pants, and more up to 20% off at Smosh.com. March 13th through 17th. Ooh, that's only a small amount of time. Get them. Uh, grab some merch before, before I get it all. Okay, bye.